What's up everyone and welcome back to the comps channel. Before we get building our solar device, which I promise will be the next video, I wanted to address all of the questions and comments I've been getting here on YouTube in our newly set up Discord server. There have been a lot of questions and concerns about the use of these 18650 batteries and the extreme cold and heat. I had a link with details on this topic alongside the link to purchase the batteries, but it's worth mentioning in a video. It generally doesn't get extremely cold or hot in my area, so we haven't run into any issues here. But I want to address these concerns for people that do live in places like this and go over some exciting news for a solution that should be available very soon, but more on that later. Basically, the concerns with these batteries are going to be the temperature range that they're operating and charging in. The Battery University website I linked to has this table showing the permissible temperature ranges for charging and discharging lithium-ion batteries like these 18650s that we're using in my build. As you can see in the table, they have a pretty wide temperature range for discharging from negative 4 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. For a solar charging setup though, you'll want to pay closer attention to the charging temperature limits, which are from 32 degrees to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want to make sure that the batteries are operating within these temperatures to avoid the risk of capacity loss or worst case scenario, battery fires. So make sure you live in an area that doesn't get hot or cold enough to where the inside of the enclosure where the batteries are stored will reach beyond these temperature ranges of concern. A viewer in Texas emailed me with what he's done with his setups where he has spray painted his enclosures with primer and aluminum finished paint to hopefully keep the internal temperature down in the summer months. And there have been a lot of cases like this where people that live in either hot or cold climates have to do things like this and attempt to keep the batteries within the permissible ranges. And that's been the case for a while now because there hasn't been a great viable alternative until now. For the past year, Voltaic Enclosures has been working on a solution to this problem using LTO batteries. Now this hasn't been released yet, but it will be very soon, and it's this solar battery charger and regulator module that works for LTO, LFP, and lithium ion batteries. I have one of these on the way and we'll do some testing, but let's go into LTO batteries and how they'll be better for those in these climates that aren't suitable for the 18650 batteries. Since we're focused on charging temperatures, the range for the LTO batteries is negative 40 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And because of this, LTO batteries are currently the best option for use in these colder and hotter climates, and that's why Voltaic Enclosures is releasing this solution. As soon as mine arrives, I'll be doing some testing and coming up with a DIY solution that'll incorporate this for those of you in the climates where this will be a better solution. I'll likely come up with a replacement board for the same enclosures like I did for the current build. One of the challenges with this LTO battery setup though is it needs solar panels with higher voltage output than the solar panels I've been using on my current builds. But I have one of these 5 watt 12 volt panels that have been popular in the Mesh-tastic community that I'll be using for testing. So if you do live in one of these colder or hotter climates, be sure to stay tuned for updates as I do my testing with these LTO batteries. I've also had a number of people request that I make a turnkey solution available for those of you who don't want to go the DIY route. I just don't have the ability to do so at scale right now, unfortunately. However, Voltaic Enclosures will also be releasing a turnkey solution using this LTO battery setup for those of you who are interested. And their solution will include the following. It'll have a Mesh-tastic 3-watt solar node, LTO batteries with a 9.6 watt hour total capacity, a 5.8 dBi fiberglass antenna, 5 feet of low loss coax cable, and free shipping in the US. So it comes with basically everything you need except the pole to mount it on, and the current pricing they gave me for this setup is $445, and I believe it'll be available on their Etsy shop sometime this weekend. So I'll be sure to post a link to their Etsy shop in the video description below for those of you interested in this turnkey solution. That'll do it for this final update video. I promise the build video will be up next. I just wanted to put out this video to address the comments and concerns. I hope you've been finding my videos helpful. If you do, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And stay tuned for the build video coming up next. Thank you all and have a good one.